Hello all tart lovers out there. Uh, this is me, Queen of Cups, with a review of uh, Winslow Domain's uh, new tart deck, uh, Tart Restless. So it came a letter to me when he was starting to do the fundraiser, the kickstart for this project, but uh, we decided to wait uh, until it was actually available for purchase. purchase. Uh, since his goal on raising money for this deck uh, was set to thousand dollars and he completed um, <laughs> with fourteen thousand seven hundred and twenty two dollars so uh, we really he really didn't need to continue this uh, for the for the kickstarter but now it's ready for purchase um, the kickstart was people could purchase this uh, deck in advance and uh, super many did but now it's also available for those of you who wasn't in that um, with the kickstart so I'm going to read this letter for you a little bit Helen thank you again for taking the time to review this deck as much as I would like to let the cards and books speak for themselves I feel I should offer a brief introduction on the intense nature of this work. The Tarte Restless is an overhaul of the classic Tarte deck. While the suits of the minor arcana remain the same, many, many of the major, major arcana are new creations. I've included a copy of Restless Meditation to help guide you through the new interpretations. Inside the book, uh, the About the Deck section will explain how this work was created. The purpose of this work is to guide people as they confront their pain and grief. For this reason, some of the cards tend to be ma macabre uh, or bizarre. The themes of revenge, betrayal and suffering are balanced by those of empowerment, extrication and relief. So lastly, this is just a promotional copy made in preparation for the Kickstarter, so they will, it will have some minor um, flaws to it but it makes it even more valuable yes <laughs> uh, even more beautiful beautifully flawed okay so this is the deck and it's still in plastic wrapper uh, here is the finger with the uh, wedding ring I guess and here is the thing uh, the hand without the finger so it's um, it was a breakup uh, or a separation that was leading to this deck being um, being made and um, here is uh, about the author Winslow Dermain is a visual artist writer and stand-up comedian living in Chicago his lifelong fasc fascination with pain grief and mental illness has inspired his broad portfolio of artwork his goal as an artist and performer is to represent suffering as a complete picture to present the experience of pain and heartache uh, as overwhelming, sickening and alienating. And you can follow him at on Twitter uh, at Winslow Dormain and on Instagram at Calculations. And you can also see his portfolio at win, uh, www.winslowdermain.com. If you go to the same web, web page www.winslowdermain.com uh, and add slash tarot uh, there you can uh, find and purchase this this deck. So I will try to open this without too big a harm. <laughs> so let's see if I can make this happen. Maybe not. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Nice texture. So the plastic wrapper is gone. Um, the deck, the new deck is going to be with some silver here on the back side. So it's a little bit more exclusive uh, than this one. So we, we have some uh, faults here. Um, the Nine of Swords uh, is mislabeled and the Hierophant is labeled as the is labeled as the hero font. Hero font. Okay, it's a spelling um, misspelling there in this deck. That was the first uh, copy uh, ever made. So I will show you a slide of the cards: two of swords, three of swords, 
four of swords, five of swords, six of swords, seven of swords, eight of swords, and uh, uh, nine of swords. Uh, this is probably ten of swords. Yes, <laughs> okay. Uh, Trial of swords, knight of swords, queen of swords. King of Swords, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, the Hero's Quest, Five of Wands, Conflict, Six of Wands, <laughs> and Seven of Wands, Eight, Nine, Ten, Trial, Knight, Queen, and King. I'm going to read this for you because um, this card, this tale of this card really struck me as beautiful. So, I'm going to read this for you. Few kingdoms were struck harder by the wars and plagues that followed the infertility curse than Ishuria, a kingdom that was once home to bustling multicultural population in the many tens of thousands had become desolate. The few who remained, now immortal, stalked the empty roads in complete contemplative silence. King Luriel took a detachment of his knights and rode to ask his ally King Contrap, if he had any better understanding of what happened to humanity. King Contrap accepted his friendly warmly, but could offer no advice as his kingdom was struck by similar disaster. Duril returned to his king kingdom, entering through the crumbling gates and passing the toplet status on the royal concourse. When he returned to his throne, he found that his queen was nowhere to be found. Her possessions remained and no one saw her depart. The king was torn between searching for her and waiting for her to return. In his solitude, he spoke as if speaking to her, apologizing for his departure, begging her for forgiveness. Luril removed his crown, vowing only to wear it should his counterpart return. Mm, yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, the story was actually that the queen had to... Uh, she had to uh, defend um, the the kingdom while he was away. Okay, and here we have Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five, Six, Seven, Sorry, Eight, Nine, Ten. Trial, Knight, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. And it's beautiful stories to each and every one of these cards, like the one with the King of Wands. This is Ace of Stars, so Ace of Pentacles. Two of Stars, Three of Stars, Four of Stars, Five, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, 10, trial, knight, queen, king, uh, the undecided, the sorceress, the contemptress, contemptress, sorry, the widower, the widow, the hero font, the lovers, black smoke, Revenge, the ascetic, the void, will, the hangman, the open grave, treachery, the degenerate, the tower, and the star. Uh, also, uh, I will read the star for you as well, because it gives like the 
essence uh, of uh, this tarot deck and and the booklet, this uh, restless meditation that comes along with it. So you will understand um, that it's not just morbid pictures, but it actually has a really deep meaning to it all. So, Blackwater Pole Star. The sailor Aurel had lost his wife to the smoke. It took his strongest friend to keep him from running in after her. Distraught, he took to the seas to quell his grief. What anguished him most was not that she was gone, but that she will still live in hideously reduced form, a mockery of her former brilliance. The heart and mind that had captured him were not now extinguished by terminating smoke. He spent five years at sea, occasionally making landfall to resupply. One night he saw a flash in the heavens and watched the star fall from the sky to hang as a piercing light at the horizon. He journeyed out to the light, sailing to day and night until the star was right above him. So transfixed was he that he did not notice that his ship had run into a jagged cliff face. The star was just out of reach, shining so brightly he had to shield his eyes with his hands. As his ship rocked, he climbed to the highest mast. Still, it was out of his grasp that star. Still, he reached. To his awe, the star fell nearer to him, its radiance brighter than the sun at high noon. Within the light, a figure appeared. His wife looked down upon him and smiled. He was dumbstruck as she extended her arm to him and took his hand. This is a brilliant card of far-reaching significance, signaling success on the search for the guidance as well as the inner waiting discovery of purpose. Those who draw this card may find their desires unfolding clearly before them and feel driven towards their satisfaction. Inter inverted, the star is a sign of good hope. Those who draw this card should expect good things coming from their loved ones. So it's very beautiful. And uh, here we have the moon card and the sun card and judgment and the world card. So um, I also want to tell you a little bit what's uh, on the website. So we'll see. I believe people should explore their suffering. Understanding the causes of pain is key to growth. If you suffer and do not learn, you will have suffered for nothing. In creating this deck, I took my experience with heartbreak, abuse and betrayal and retold them on a cosmological scale. Uh, many, of, many of these cards were inspired by the strong women in my life. Their struggles with abuse and violence helped me understand the abuse I suffered much better and I cannot thank them enough. And we can see this with a lot of the cards that um, it's it's uh, idolizing uh, the purity uh, of of women. We can see it, for example, with uh, the Queen of Cups card. I will see if I can find her for you here. Uh, how she's trying to hold up uh, a bright light and this cup holding the uh, the love high, e even in in a world that might seem to only step or <laughs> stomp on people with this kind of beautiful heart but herein lies also the hope okay so um everyone i hope you enjoyed this review and if you want to have a copy of restless meditations uh, you're welcome to uh, check into winslow domains uh, homepage www winslow dur domain.com and also slash tarot if you want to check out uh, the tour deck okay so i hope you enjoyed this uh, thank you for watching and bye bye